Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, November the 9th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room and I share my screen and I'm live on the mic between 9 a.m. and usually up to about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you'd like to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas, you can type this in, click on it, and it'll take you to a subscription page with a promo code. All right, well, my goodness, um, <laughs> elections are over, and I'm sure, well, obviously everybody knows that uh, we now have a new president, uh, Mr. Donald Trump. Now, the, the futures market overseas and overnight, et cetera, just reacted, and, uh, you know, as the reaction we would have expected, I think at one, at one point futures were down 800 points, so... You know, I woke up this morning wondering what the heck we, we were going to see. Well, it's 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 been amazing, actually. I mean, the Dow is now up 177. Uh, the market has had a complete turnaround. Uh, it's almost like, oh, well, never mind. And here we are. And it was a fabulous day in the room. Now, we had a little, unfortunately, we had a little technical glitch at the beginning of the day. I missed out on a lot of these uh, great moves. Uh, our charts were uh, delayed by anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. So I had to um, kind of hang around, not really do anything. But boy, once once uh, they got working again, um, there were just some, for me anyway, there were just some incredible plays. Um, I am in still three stocks right now. I am in uh, CXW, CXW, and the other Prison stock, GEO, had big, big pops uh, today. You can see right here on the 15-minute. On the um, one of the reasons is, of course, that Hillary was looking, uh, or this, you know, present, go uh, uh, current government, uh, was looking to uh, unprivatize uh, GEO and CKW, CXW. And, you know, if you recall, if we go to back to a daily chart, here were the days. This is the day that that announcement came out. You go look at CXW, same thing. So with a new administration, I guess their thinking is that maybe they'll uh, scrap that. Uh, they'll scrap the idea that prisons, uh, it's okay for prisons, or it, the status quo, it's okay for prisons to, uh, to be private. So anyway, it doesn't really matter why, I guess, but this uh, we we're all watching this this morning, and... Get a bigger chart here. I was finally able to take this. You know, I missed, I, I, you know, I did not get into it in the pre-market. Watch that pullback. And then basically told everybody for a long time to watch for the, let's see, what did I get in? For, for the 20 break. Now, I actually took this just, sorry, up here. I took it just a little ahead of the 20 break. Not normally what I do. You can see what, you know, I was looking at this, it, it got up to 22.69 before it fell back down. So uh, bottom line is this, is that I ended up taking the trade at uh, 19.88. All these levels are, all these little green lines you see here. Maybe I'll just put a, put a mark here. All these green lines you see here, all the price alerts that I had. Um, bottom line is, I got in at 19.88. I did sell some at 20.23. And... Actually, I got it in 1988. Sorry, right? I did 19. Well, it doesn't matter. I, this is 1998. I sold some at 1998 in case it wasn't going to going to break uh, 20. Um, you know, it was taking a quite quite a long time to do it. Anyway, bottom line is that it did. And then I did something I don't normally do, and I added CKW, CXW at 2023. Close enough. I added it right here, you know, I, on this pullback, and then on, on that candle right there, as it started to move up again, held, it was looking like it was going to held, uh, hold the, the, the 20. So I added some at 2023, and look at this. I mean, it just absolutely exploded upwards. Um, you know, I did sell some at uh, 2102. And still hanging on to uh, to some of it, so you know th th this would turn out to be just a great trade. Just a matter of really having the patience to keep watching it at the at a, a couple of levels. Now another one I'm in is uh, GMED, 
And this one is, is turning into a spectacular trade also. Uh, I know some were in, were in a little bit earlier on, on, on the bounce. Uh, I was actually in this one, uh, 2037, right about here. Actually got the alert in my options plays uh, magic window. I'm going to bring that window in here. See if I can find it. Got to find GMED. Here, there it is, GMED at 2037, 1109. So at that point, I took the trade. And this was also one that was just bouncing, uh, bouncing fabulously. And I took the trade, so it was right here. And I did take some out at uh, 2051, and then I've been hanging on, hanging on. Um, took some out at... The, well, I'm hanging on actually. I was waiting uh, forever on, for this break. So now I'm over a dollar. Just uh, basically at a dollar uh, my second half. So this one has turned out to be just a great trade. It took a long time before. Remember, these are 50 minute candles. So it took about an hour. Uh, actually, it touched it right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it's two hours. Two hours before it finally broke uh, uh, 21. But now definitely being rewarded for, for that. Uh, SXC. Another one that I'm being rewarded on, a lot of patience on this one. Uh, an another one from the options play in Magic. Uh, got this one at 11.07 right here. This one did not, uh, you know, there's a lot, qu quite a lot of froth here. I mean, you look at all these bottoming tails, didn't really know what it wanted to do. But, you know, now it's starting to pop uh, uh, for me. So I have traded some of this out, uh, 11.16 and 11.22. But now, you know, this is really starting to work. And I love the percentage increase that uh, lo looks like I'm going to get on this one. Um, wow, what, what, what a day. I mean, just a, a fantastic day. Uh, I'm even in... Just one second... This one had me concerned. <laughs> wasn't sure what I was going to wake up to do this morning. Uh, this is the one that I took yesterday uh, as a swing trade. Uh, 1116, I got in right here. Uh, I closed the room down about right here, 245. All right. Now, right after that, look at, look at the pop it took. So I actually did sell some at 1150. Okay. And I was going to hold this overnight. Uh, why am I doing that? If you look at the daily chart, see this incredible fabulous void that it could potentially be filling and that's why I did it now of course I did not realize I did not anticipate the results of the election and of course uh, like most people seeing the futures were down 800 points at one point uh, I thought well what am I going to wake up to you know it's not like I bet the farm on this but I mean you never know this could have uh, opened at nine dollars or something anyway I was uh, very very uh, gratified to see that it really didn't do anything you know it really sort of shrugged off everything uh, it hasn't really moved with the market either, but that's okay. That means that, you know, it may, maybe, uh, again, with that void to fill, it's possible that it'll just sort of uh, do it in a, a more of a more of a calm way than uh, in a sudden way. Now, if it wants to take off suddenly, <laughs> fantastic. But anyway, so I'm still in this one as a swing trade. And, well, that's about it. I mean, uh, all I can say is that it was a fabulous day. Uh, Holly only had, I mean, Holly didn't have the greatest of days. Um, got stopped out on a lot of things early, but only had five strategies uh, for today. And, uh, and plus we had some technical issues at the beginning. So, uh, most of the Holly trades, I think were done. Oh, uh, there, there are some that are triggering right now, but, um, anyway, I want to get back into the room. I, I hope everybody, uh, breathe a big sigh of release, relief. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, of course. And, you know, going forward, it's going to be a challenge, obviously with uh, a lot that's happened. A lot of things that have been said in this election, uh, but hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm a Canadian, but I certainly wish that the, uh, you know, the United States of America can come together and uh, resolve all their differences, and uh, and you know, we won't have maybe some calming in the next the next little while. Uh, remains to be seen, of course. So, anyway, don't want to get too political here. Um, you know, I was as I I'm just more concerned about uh, what happens in the markets on a daily basis and. Today, it was nothing short of spectacular. All right, well, that is it. I'm going to bring, bring back the cover page. Here's how to get in. This is the address. Free room. No strings attached. It's a free room. I share my screen all day long. You don't have to give us a credit card or anything. And 
I am uh, live between 9 a.m. and uh, up to 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight uh, Standard Time now. And again, if you want to take out a subscription, this is you can just type this in, click on it, and you'll be taken to our subscription page. All right, well, phew, thanks for uh, listening, everybody. Uh, can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. Okay, bye bye.